Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to use a function. And I'm going to start off with a very short version of this, or a very simple version of it. So, first thing I'm going to do, and I'm just checking my cheat sheet over here, is I'm going to start with um, the command function, and I'm going to have the name of the function. Now, I'm actually going to call this count to 10. And it has brackets at the end where you would put in an argument if you were passing in an argument. And I'll show you that in the next example. And then I'm going to say end function. Now, you can just do it like that. Sometimes they will say begin and end. Uh, I think it's worth putting it in there because it seems that the examiners sometimes like that. So I'm going to put that in. Okay, so that is in fact the function. Now, within the function, so I'm tabbing in, I'm just going to create a for loop. So for i uh, equals... Um, 1 to 10, then I'm going to go down and go tab in again, uh, print i, there we go, uh, end my for loop, end for, there we go. So, that just sits there and it doesn't do anything at this point. I think of it as like having a book on the shelf, it doesn't mean you want to read it. If I want to call that function, all I actually do is write count to 10 and those on the end. So Anywhere I want to count to 10 in my program, I just call that function and it dashes off and it does that job. So that's the heart of what a function is. It might just be something you want to do again and again, and you just want to call that function and say, hey, go do that job. It saves you writing it again and again. So you might have one for a welcome or for collecting information and so forth. So let's step up to the next level of complexity. So I'm actually going to call it just count to now. So count to, and the reason I'm doing this is it is going to have a different um, a, a different purpose. So count to, and I'm going to say the number that gets passed in is called limit. So when they call it down here, I actually need to put a number in so that it both calls this function and it passes what we call an argument to it. So that when this starts running it knows this variable here limit. It's whatever it received. And you can receive multiple things. So instead of counting to 10, I'm going to count to limit. So now, let's watch this. Well, we can't watch it because we have to do it with our brain, but let's run this. I call count to with an argument of 5. Here is the function count to, and limit will equal 5, because what we pass through there is what comes in here. We run a for loop, it goes 1 to 5, so it'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then it'll end the for loop, then it'll end the function there. So that is how we can pass in uh, information on a function.